the show. I told you guys to think of like your favorite four or five retired titles of all time. We've been training our chat GPT chat pet Jippy um, to uh, become a huge wrestling fan and master of the art of pro wrestling. So we go through our lists and then Al reads us Jippy's list after she's been training it to be a wrestling master. Uh, so who wants to go first? I'll, I'll, I'll go, go first. first. I'll go good. Right. Good. Oh fuck you, Al, Al, It's too Al dark in there. We can't. We can't even see you. All right. Darkness is. <laughs> um, my, I have the safest list, by the way, um, and these are all. You'll notice, like they're all from like a certain time in wrestling. Uh, I'm gonna kick it off. Uh, the hardcore title, uh, and that is simply because as a kid. I didn't realize like how ugly it was, and I just loved it. And I thought Crash Holly was badass, along with like Mick Foley and stuff. So I went with that hardcore title. And then I also loved the undisputed title, the one where like Chris Jericho unified the WCW and WWF belt. Uh, I thought that belt was pretty cool. Um, the of course this should be on everybody's list, and if you get if it ain't, you guys are fucking crazy. The New Japan World Heavyweight Championship, like. The, the not the butterfly version of it, but the like, version four right. belt before the fifth generation came out. Yeah, yes, that belt, bring it back. I, it's it's really stupid that it's gone. Um, the big eagle, one the stone cold one. I think that's that's a really safe bet. Uh, and then and then my oddball choice, uh, which I really want them to bring back, and they've rumored that I think Carmelo Hayes wants to bring it back. And that's the United States Spinner title. I I, I just thought that was neat. So that's my uh, top. Cool. That's my top five titles. Love it. RN, you're up. Uh, first and foremost, the European title. It's my favorite title of all time. My two favorite wrestlers made it the best: Triple H and fucking D'Lo Brown. That's all. I, I mean, top flight. Uh, the WCW Hardcore title. Yeah, yeah, was a little bit cleaner. Quiet. Uh, especially because my guy Lance Storm, when he unified all the belts and everything, the Saskatchewan title and all that shit. <laughs> uh, uh, I, the NXT, I wanted to say just the NXT UK heavyweight title, but really all the NXT UK belts. I think they are the best belts in, in the history of modern wrestling. I think they're better than any fucking belts on any WWE now. AEW, you know, I think those belts, just the designs of them, the shapes of them, everything were fucking immaculate. Uh, the small eagle belt. The winged eagle? Uh, the Bret yeah. Hart belt? Yeah, the Bret Hart belt. Yep. And That's then I have the ECW heavyweight title. Ooh, I love that belt. That's one of my favorite titles of all time. The heart the, with the barbed wire around it, not the yeah. first one. Not the silver one. Yeah. No, like the real ECW title with the red lettering. Yep. The one that's yeah. over Al's left shoulder, shoulder. You just can't see it. Um, Bo, your turn. Um, the cruiserweight, all iterations of it. I just thought that was that was kind of cool. Like the high flying the seven when I was young. The AEW American Championship. I thought that was a very nice belt. <laughs> Kind of pissed that we just didn't add it to the rest of the fucking thing going forward. The European, all of the same reasons RN said, it just fucking iconic. I always liked the European title. The TNA, like fucking um, Legends Television, it was like six different names when it's yeah. run. That was always cool because it was a new rain every like two days. Yeah. The TV title, legitimately, just like the WCW TV title. Mm -hmm. the, the matches people had for it, and the, the storylines that it built, and the stars that it made was amazing. Agreed. Um, my list was real similar to Kyle's, honestly. Um, not exactly the same, but similar. Mine was the European title, uh, number five. I definitely feel like uh, with the amount of titles WWE has, having a, a historic mid-card title come back 
Um, another one on my list is one that Quan had on his list specifically, and that's the white strapped IC title. Um, that's yes. my favorite version of the Intercontinental title, the one Cody brought back in 2014, the one that was modeled after Shawn Michaels from the 90s. Um, so that would be number four. Number three, and I think that this is in the same vein as Bo and the Legends title for TNA. Um, I want to bring back the WCW Cruiserweight title, but specifically from that 96-97 run. So like Rey Mysterio, Eddie Guerrero, like Crowbar, like all of the people that held that, all of the luchadors, like that specific Cruiserweight title to me. Um, going back to WWE, I this is gonna this is an unpopular opinion. The undisputed title that RN talked about, or was it Kyle? Kyle, that you talked about. Kyle. My least favorite belt design of all time, probably besides the current IC title. Like I think I call it the Brock Lesnar title because it was his first world title, like that he won. And to me, it's just like it was weird. It didn't look like a wrestling belt. So my WWE world title that I would want them to become back is the Winged Eagle, uh, the Austin Belt, uh, the or no the the Big Eagle rather the Big the round, Big the Eagle round. yeah yeah you yeah, can't get Triple H Rock Austin Belt yeah uh, that would be it. Then my number one pick because I'm a Foley homer is always going to be I think they need a version of the Hardcore title, not the 24 seven title, but going to Netflix I think the 24 seven rules of the hardcore Let's title go. with Netflix's budget would be some great pre-taped like stuff happening to run in the back. You know what I mean? Like they used to do with Crash Holly and shit at the fucking yeah. Discovery Zones and Chuck E. Cheese's and stuff. That'd be fun. You know what we and should we do is we should book like... a hardcore division at some point. Yes. I'm with yeah. that. We should like we should book a hardcore division. Yeah. I got a hot take. I think the IC White title is literally the most diabolically terrible fucking title design ever. Really? That's you think that's worse than the Divas belt? I, I'm i talking about for men's. There's nothing say, worse than the Divas. Okay, to, cool. To pick I never got of, into it. Yeah, to piggyback off of RN, I'm actually very apathetic towards that belt. Like, it does nothing for me. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. I, I don't hate it. Fuck. I don't hate it, but I don't see the affinity for it. I feel like it's it, like how I look at some of the belts from like the '90s, early 2000s. I think a lot of people have nostalgia for it, but I, I don't know. Um, I, I think the purple the intercontinental. T- I think the purple intercontinental title from back then is better than that fucking white one. I think that it's the callback because the white strap was the same title, like plate design wise that you think Steamboat Savage, like a lot of those guys had, and then they took it and put it on the white strap. And I yeah. think that's why people liked it, because it was, they did that at the, around the same time as some of the other, I don't want to say like those mid-tiers, your TNAs and your Ring of Honors and stuff, they started going to off-colored straps again, the reds and the whites, and some people mm. were using blue leather and stuff. And WWE around that same time started to branch out. And then by the Universal title in 2016, like they had gone full blown, just like we had red and white and blue straps, like black straps with the penny face, like WWE went bonkers with their color combinations. So, okay. Al, what did Jippy say? Jippy said number five, NWA World Women's Tag Team Championship. Those, those did come back. Well, there. Whatever. Uh, number four, the TNA X Division King of the Mountain Championship. Uh, okay. Uh, number three, the Hardcore Championship. Yes. Oh, number yes. two, the IWGP Intercontinental Championship. Oh, that was Ooh. such a good belt. That so was the belt they took away when they merged them and made the butterfly belt. Yep, um, yeah. Number one, the WW the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. So I big took gold. big. I picked. I took big gold off my top five, uh, and replaced it with the spinner belt. <laughs> the TNA X Division King of the Mountain title doesn't make any sense in my brain. Was that that was a tournament? 
I don't know. So it, I had to do another list as well. So this one it fit out the NWA World Tag Team Championship. They did have some really great ones. They just the new versions that they have now are modeled off of the original tag titles. The Hardcore yes. Championship. Correct. The WCW Television Championship. Gorgeous belt. Mm -hmm. Love that belt. Uh, WWF European Championship. Perfect. And, the, and still at number one, the WCW World Heavyweight Championship. Big gold. That's fair. That's a great list. Good job, Jippy. You're a good Jippy. Good Jippy. All right. Um, gentlemen, we're done. Plug yourself so we can go home. RN, we can't see you, but you go first, sir. Uh, well, we are, I think we host the wrestling podcast. We are kind of uh, bi yearly now, I guess, when we record. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a little inconsistent as of late. We, and, and full disclosure, we've had some personal shit. Like it wasn't like we just said fuck the podcast. Like we both had some stuff going on this summer, but we're pushing through it. We're gonna. Uh, I think we need to have a meeting and stuff to kind of see where we're gonna go moving forward. But Route Four Kennels, if you need a puppy, I got bully litter on the ground. I got two Frenchy litters coming. Uh, we are. We should have a toy poodle litter here shortly too, as well. So look me up on Facebook or uh, Instagram Route Four Kennel. Uh, mean Jelly Bean Productions on YouTube. Uh, yeah, that's it. Hi, Ty. What's up, everybody? Um, yeah, RN and I, we, we, you, you can tune into what's quite essentially become our like AA meetings that we just kind of disguise as talking about pro wrestling. Mm -hmm. uh, me and RN, two two dads that have just gone through you know some personal changes over the last couple of years, trying to better ourselves. And we hope that through talking about pro wrestling and, and beating addiction and, and battling mental health issues that you guys could have some fun and laugh at some dick jokes along the way. Um, so you can find us on Smacked Raw, uh, uh, twitch.tv slash Smacked Raw, um, and then also youtube.com slash Smacked Raw Podcast. If, uh, if you want to fancy us some of my photography, uh, you can also uh, follow me on Instagram, uh, the Kai Tai Show. Uh, it's where I post all of my pictures. I, I like take pe pictures of like people eating in restaurants and shit and uh some people think they look nice so i always appreciate that as well and that's that's about it thank you guys so um all over the place right now it's kind of up in the air because it's ball season again it's our fall season um here every sunday watch watch the chair shots follow me on twitter Jacksbo 2020 hit the link tree find out all the updated stuff I'm going to update it tomorrow Al <laughs> you can find me on TikTok, Instagram and Twitter at justagirl918 at TikTok I'm currently <laughs> aggressively unboxing figures to make grown men cry um, so that's pretty fun uh yeah i'm here i'm gonna do trivia soon you know things are busy and i felt like doing trivia every week was too much i like the idea of incorporating it into this show and just doing it once a month here yeah. i think that's perfect um that's it i'm gonna do my thing now uh remember to follow us anywhere you do anything on the internet facebook instagram my heart radio google spotify you have all the options I updated the Discord link in the bio. You can now click it, and it will actually take you to the Off the Top and Urban City Radio Discord. Um, there's a merch link there as well. That is all the Botch Bots and Cheer Shots sweet-ass merch, our T-shirts and our hats and the boxers with most face on it and all the things and all the places. Most importantly is Amazon Prime. Everyone who has Amazon Prime gets a free Prime gaming subscription with that. You go to Twitch. You get a free subscription. Give it to us. Give it to Smack Draw. Give it to Shea Elite Showcase. Give it to Creation World. Give it to any and all my friends. As long as Jeff Bezos doesn't get it, he's got too much money. Guys, anything for the class? No? Don't be a gaslighting bitch. Wow. You fucking made up gaslighting. That shit ain't real. I love you. <laughs>
Now let's be close another episode of Blackbox and Church House Take a minute. Thank you for listening. Remind you to go wherever you do anything on the internet, like follow, subscribe, unsubscribe, and subscribe again. Leave a comment telling you that we've missed Kyle and Aaron a lot and that Bo is fantastic and we're glad he's feeling better. Either way, it helps the algorithm and it helps find new listeners. If you're feeling really generous to be one of the VIP people, go to patreon.com and donate to the Rivet City Radio Podcast Network. You get some fantastic swag. We get some fantastic guests. It's a win. Dos com slash win for the crew from Smack Draw, the Kai Tice Show, and Mr. 8984 RN himself. For the Boss Bitch Al and everybody's favorite Ginger Ninja with Jack Spell, I am D. Will Gray. Thanks for stopping by and listening, my people. Hello. Hello. Hello.